Hi, this is Melissa Muir. Welcome back for another Tool Time Tuesday. I wanted to show you a little bit really quickly about using butane torches. In my studio, I have three different styles that I use quite regularly, and a lot of people are a little bit confused as how to get them started. So I'm going to show you how to ignite and safely turn off each different type of the butane torch. The torches that I really like right now that I've been using quite a bit lately because I can do a little larger pieces is the jumbo torch. Okay, this is a torch that I sell. It's, it runs about $40 and it's such a nice torch. I've really enjoyed this torch. My students have also liked it. Uh, I was amazed when I finally started to use this at how quickly I was able to do much larger pieces. So it's, it's a torch that I'm, like I said, I'm really enjoying at this point in time. However, it is a little bit more difficult to ignite than the blazer torch that I've used before in the past. So I really want to quickly go through this with you. Uh, back here on the back we have our ignition button and just below that we have a safety switch. Okay, the safety switch is so that you don't accidentally ignite your torch. So it's something that's kind of nice, however, it's also something that kind of trips people up or confuses them a little. So we'll go through that here in just a second. On the right hand side we also have a little lever here that allows me to adjust my flame and basically what it's doing is adjusting that oxygen and gas ratio to either make a larger flame or a shorter flame. On the left hand side we have an on off switch or it, it's not even really an on off switch but it's one that will kind of lock the the torch open so that you don't have to continue to hold down this uh, ignition button. Okay, so after you get the torch ignited, you're going to come back in and you'll pull this little switch to the back, which then goes ahead and holds everything open. And when you're ready to turn your torch off, you just switch it back to the front. Okay, here on the side here, whoops, let's see if I can show you here. We've got this little knob here. It's got a spring and it's actually on both sides of the torch. Okay, this again allows me to adjust the the mix of oxygen that's coming into that gas torch so again I can change my flame from a nice really tight torch or a nice point or a nice flame to something that's a little bit more bushy okay however it's not an adjustment that sits and stays wherever you put it because it is on a spring so it's one that you would have to control as you're using the torch to ignite the torch, what I do first is I flip the safety down, okay? You'll hear that nice little click right there. Then I have to come in and push my ignition. Uh, you have to go through it where until it clicks, okay? A lot of times people will go like this and it releases that safety and all you hear is the gas and I don't know if you can hear that on the video or not. And all that's happening right now is I'm just letting out butane but I'm not igniting it because I never followed through to the ignition of that. Now what happened, once I pushed that in, it released that safety. So I need to push the safety down again, go all the way through to ignite it. And here on the left hand side, I'm going to take this switch, flip it back. At that point, I can let go of my ignition. Okay. Like I said, here on the right hand side, we have this little lever where we can then adjust how strong our flame is. Okay. And then on the front here, like I said, we can adjust how much oxygen we're allowing in to mix with this. All right, the hottest part of your flame is right here, this blue tip. And if you put something right there at that blue tip, you should see a nice strong yellow flame or a yellow trail. And that tells you that your item is in the right place. This is great for if you need to ball up the ends of a wire or something like that. And then you can easily tell if you're in the right place or not. To turn off my flame, I'm going to come in, take my switch on the front here and slide it forward and it turns the flame off. Alright, the second torch is the one that I've actually, this is my original torch. This is the first one I ever bought and I used and I have done so much with this torch. And like I said, it wasn't until I got the jumbo torch that all of a sudden I realized I could have gotten things done much faster. However, when I'm still doing my bezels or any small work, my blazer is the torch that I will go to. Igniting this thing is very, very simple. On the left hand side, we have a little valve here and it says open and it shows you the direction. So what you do is you turn it on 
and you can hear the gas running. And at that point, you just push this in to ignite your torch and it's lit. There's no safety on it or anything like that. To adjust the type of flame that you have, there is a little round, um, I don't even know what to call it, but a little round slider thing that you can just twist here and it will allow you to, again, adjust the mix of oxygen to the gas or the butane in this. To turn your torch off, you just again take this little knob, roll it back to the back until everything turns off. At this point you do want to be careful to make sure that it is tightly off and that you do not hear any gas flowing out of this at all. A lot of people will think that in order to adjust your flame that you would turn this on and keep twisting to allow more gas to come out, but it doesn't work that way. What you do with this little knob is basically on and off. Either you've allowed the gas to flow through or you haven't, but it doesn't give you more gas if you switch or if you continue to turn this knob. Okay. The last torch that I have is another blazer, but it's a smaller one. Okay. And this is the model ES1000. Okay. It's called a micro torch. This one's a little bit different because it does have a safety on it, but it's a little different safety. Here I do not have to switch my gas on or off. What I do here is I roll, and this is where it gets kind of difficult, and I'm trying to do it so that you can see it, but if I roll this little part here, it's a little thumb part, and you can see that we've got a little spike that kind of comes out, and when I let it down, it becomes the safety and does not allow me to depress it, okay? So what I'm going to do is roll my thumb up against it and come down and ignite. Okay. In order for the torch to stay turned on, just similar to the jumbo torch, I have a little log or a knob over here that slides on and it says off or lock. And what I want to do is come in, open that up, ignite it, and then switch this back to lock. And now I can let go and begin to use my torch. If I want to adjust my flame as far as its bushiness or the flame uh, tightness, I can just use this little slider that's here on the top. Okay, and to turn my torch back off, I slide that little slider to the off position. And that's how I use the three different butane torches that I keep in my studio.